This is a tutorial about how to make a WordPress Ajax call using nonsense. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to share web design forward slash blog forward slash WordPress Ajax call. So my name is Sean Hayes. This is, is my, my company, Share Web Design, and I, I make tutorials, YouTube videos as well. So you definitely want to subscribe <laughs> and you definitely want to subscribe to my newsletter as well, but you don't have to do that if you don't want, but you have to subscribe to YouTube because that's the good stuff. So go ahead and, and go to this page and then scroll down a little bit and then hit this WP. So this is the tutorial that I mentioned that is going to have come up somewhere, I don't know, somewhere around here. I can throw it in again right now. So you can click on that YouTube video, which is actually on the page too, so you can get there as well. So just click on this little button right here, because we're not gonna go through all this again. We're just trying to learn how to make a WordPress Ajax call with nonsense. So click that button here gonna go down here and you want to download this if you haven't already from the previous tutorial all this is gonna be in the same download package so you only have to do this once click this little guy put in your email address and then you don't have to even do that this is gonna sign you up to my newsletter even though I barely ever send newsletters out but it, this is going to give you the download link the package in order to get the files that you're gonna to want to just copy and paste and then add the JS for this the JavaScript um, so go ahead and do that, or you can just copy and paste this stuff right here. So once you do that, once you download it, um, it's gonna give you a folder that looks something like that in your downloads. So you're gonna click on that guy, open that one up, and then you wanna go to this nonce version right here. So this is for the, the previous tutorial, the easy one. So go to the easy one if you're looking for that. And then you go to this folder. So I'm gonna pull this off screen a little bit and then I'm gonna open up uh, Visual Studio Code. So you wanna have a child theme set up so that you can go to your functions.php. I've already opened it here. So I'm at the bottom of the page, basically, after everything else. And then I wanna open up the PHP. So this is the PHP folder, the, the one that, or the PHP file, which is that one right there. That's what I clicked on. And then you wanna highlight this and then everything but that little PHP tag at the top. And then copy that and then paste that guy over and then just hit save. I'm just doing commands S. If you're doing nonsense, you should know that, right? <laughs> so anyways, let's go to back to our little folder and then um, click on the JS folder, Double click on that guy. And I already have a JS folder because I have another JavaScript file within my child theme here. So I, you can just take that guy and just drag it right into there. And boom, you got that guy as well. So let's close that guy up. Make sure that guy is saved. This one's already good to go. So this should be working now if we go to our, our website. So I've created this page, which is my Ajax test page. So if you go to this and then just add like some HTML code here for our class or our, our, our link here, then save it. I've already done all that and then you're gonna get this page. So, or you're gonna get this little link right here, which is banana. And we want, so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna send an Ajax call to the back end of, of WordPress, our functions.php from our front end, which is JavaScript. So basically we're making a call to the back end to PHP and PHP is gonna call us back and it's gonna change this. So we're sending banana, PHP is gonna change it in to an apple and then it's gonna send it back to us and this is gonna change into an apple if we did it all right. So let's see if we did it all right. So I click on that guy 
Hey, and it worked. <laughs> so this is ha this has a nonce attached. So let's go back over to our code. So this is our our JavaScript. Well, let's go through the functions.php first. So basically, what we're doing is we're we're enqueuing the script here, and in, in our we're creating a function, and then an action, which is is the actions gonna fire at WP and NQ scripts and then load all of our scripts that we want to NQ. So the first thing that's gonna happen is it's going we we're at, we want to ensure that jQuery is being loaded on our website. So this isn't gonna work without jQuery. So we want to ensure that. So the next thing we, we have here is we want to load the script properly by enqueuing the script. That's why we had to add it here. And in my previous tutorial, we basically just added it to the footer. That way you could just copy and paste directly from, from the PHP file into the functions.php. It was super simple, just paste, boom, you got it. But this one, we had to actually add the file and then we have to enqueue the file. So now that we've enqueued it, we can, we can localize the script. So basically what we wanna do there is pull the add. So in the previous one, we were adding the Ajax URL like differently. So in this one, it's gonna go along with, basically we're creating kind of an object. So it's gonna go along with our nonce that we're creating here. So first thing we're doing is we're creating our Ajax URL that's attached with our nonce. And this is all gonna be in one little object from the front end here in our JavaScript. Basically, so this is different too. There's a few things that are different here. So our URL has our object attached to it, our Ajax URL. So normally in the previous one, it's just Ajax URL. Now we have our object, our, our my Ajax object. And then it's also, we needed to add a type, which is post. So we this needs to be a post so that we can read it with WP verified nonce. So, the last thing it's sending is our actual variable, which was fruit. So our, our var, which was banana, is gonna go to the back end, change into apple, and then send it back to us. So this is all of our Ajax right here that's doing that. And then with success, you know, it, it's gonna change into an apple. So this is the magic that's happening with the nonce. So if WP verify nonce, is post nonce, then as long as we verify it, if, if the nonce matches, then we're gonna move on to our request. So if not, it's gonna say, you know, it's, we're, we're gonna end the script by, by dying it, and then it's gonna send back busted. So we can test that here. So let's test that right now by getting rid, we'll comment out this little nonce section. So if we comment that out and then save it, when we go back to our front end, and then we reload the page and then try to make that call again, we're gonna get busted, see? <laughs> because when it went to verify that nonce, it wasn't there. So now it's sending back like, hey, you don't have the, the you know, the correct, the correct information for me to actually do the Ajax call. So I'm gonna send back busted. And this, you know, it, things can get hacked, you know. Definitely when you're sending sensitive information, you always wanna use nonces. So if we go back and we change that back here, get rid of our comment out, and then save that, then it's gonna work again. We reload the page. And I click that guy, boom, it works the way it's intended. So that's nonsense, that's that's basically what we're doing. So if you missed the previous tutorial, definitely wanna go through and watch that. Just to explain this a little bit more. So when we go through and, and send from the front end, it's gonna to call to this example Ajax request 
and then it's going to verify our nonce with this little bit of code here with WP verify nonce. And then it's gonna go into our request, which is if our fruit equals, or if our variable fruit request is equal to banana, then send back apple. So that was our basic, you know, front end Ajax request. There's a lot more complicated things you can do with this. Like Ajax does so many cool things, but that's basically it. That's how you do it with nonces. So go through the first tutorial first, which is I'll, I'll put it up again somewhere around here. <laughs> and then just let me know if you have any questions and that's the proper way, secure way to do it if it's on a live site sending sensitive information. So thank you for watching. And again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.